Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a huge Monday of content in store for us today inside of FIFA 22. Team of the Year upgrade packs are potentially arriving in the game today. I want to talk about that, the SBCs that we could see, and how this is really when Team of the Year starts for a lot of people, including myself, because upgrade SBCs mean potential packing of Team of the Years. A lot of people go out and spend tons of coins doing these upgrade packs just to try to pack some of the best cards that we will see all year. So we're going to talk about that today and also look a little bit ahead into the week as a big SBC is on the horizon called Flashback Varan. And that is going to be an SBC that I think really rocks the game. And I think it's going to cause a lot of movements and a lot of people are going to want to do that SBC. There's a lot of hype around it. And we have confirmed stats as a leak for that Flashback Varan. So there are going to be some leaks involved with today's video of course, but a lot of what we're talking about today is related to the Monday content and these brand new team of the year midfielders, which came out yesterday. And I think they're kind of cheap apart from Conte, who is extinct on PlayStation. And he's now dropping down in price. You know, Jorginho's like 1.5 million coins. KDB's like 2.3, 2.4 mil for first day prices. Again, as we've been seeing it throughout this whole team of the year promo, these cards are just pretty cheap. So if you're excited for content today and you're excited for this video, make sure you hit a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. A little bit of an update, TFA. I know a lot of you guys maybe have not heard this, but we've been talking about it in the Twitch live streams. Uh, I'm going to be, the videos are going to be basically slowing down a little bit this week because uh, I'm going on a little bit of a vacation or holiday, as you guys may call it. It's been planned for like five, six months. I know it's bad timing because it's team of the year, but family over FIFA, right? So we're going to be going on that this week. So you might see a few less uploads. So that's just a little bit of heads up for you guys. There might be some phone videos. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll figure it out. And there's some scheduled uploads that I recorded earlier, just talking about some stuff inside of FIFA as well. So there will still be videos. Just don't expect the regular daily um, me sitting here in front of my screen doing all this. So that's just a little bit of a message so that you are aware. You won't see as much of me this week. We'll be back in the saddle to smash upgrade packs early next week late like you know sunday monday time frame monday for sure we'll be smashing the upgrade packs and doing a lot of those but let's get into the video today because part of the upgrade pack content that we have to talk about is dropping today on this game and that's what everybody's excited for right now we always know that upgrade packs come out with promos literally every single promo this year they drop upgrade packs on mondays it's just kind of a known fact and I don't think it's going to be any different today with team of the year upgrade packs. Now it has been leaked and confirmed that these SBCs, the premium upgrades are going to be dropping. And if you guys remember, these are the 25 K packs that are specific to players by league. So a premium premier league upgrade and the premium league one upgrade, those are going to be the, no, the most two popular upgrade SBCs that are going to be dropping today. They're repeatable, right? People are going to stack tens, 50s, hundreds of these to try to pack team of the year cards. Now, what do they require, right? In the past, for the last like three or four years of team of the year, the requirements have stayed basically the same. All they require for these SBCs are 11 gold rares. It does not require league specific gold rares. Now, I know a lot of you guys may be out buying league one rares or Premier League rares, which I have no problem doing that. Uh, rares right now on the market, I believe are 800 coins. So they're pretty close, you know, they're not quite discard, but they are decently cheap. A lot of people have started to buy these cards up in preparation for these SBCs to be out. If you want to buy some ahead of time, I'm a hundred percent. Um, I'm with that, right? If you're planning to do a lot of upgrade packs during team of the year, maybe you're not going to open them today when they get released, but maybe you're going to save them until, um, you know, the full team is in packs Thursday or Friday, it's 100% a move to go out on the market. And especially as they're still running lightning rounds, you know, so late Sunday night into Monday morning, as they commonly do now with these big promos, you know, you see a lot of gold rares at discard price. Now the rares from the league one and the premier league are inflated because there's people investing on the off chance. And I'm, when I mean off chance, I mean like they haven't required specific league rares for the team of the year SBCs for like the past three years, right? I know that in the fall earlier this year for Black Friday, they required the league specific rares, but they have not done that for team of the year in the past few years. So hopefully they do not do that again this year. But 
Um, you know, at the moment, I wouldn't be too afraid of that since it's been so consistent in the past few years with them not requiring it. But if you want to stock your club with gold rares, I think that's a great opportunity. Now, let's talk about these packs a little bit, right? What, what, which ones are people going to be doing? Well, it's kind of obvious, right? The whole entire team of the year is made up of Premier League and League on players, right? It's basically split. You know, how many Premier League players do we have? We have the De Bruyne, Jorginho, Conte, Cancelo, Ruben Diaz. We have five Premier League players, maybe sixth with the inclusion of a Salah or Cristiano Ronaldo 12th man. And then for League One, we have one, two, three, four, five. So it's crazy the split, right? You have like five League One, five Prem, and then Lewandowski. That's your team of your 11. So you know, everybody's going to be hammering these two different packs, right? There's really not a reason to do La Liga or Serie A, um, but it's going to be all about Premier League and League 1, which is fine, right? And I think that's why EA will not require league-specific rares. I'd be surprised if they did. But one thing I'm going to say is the League 1 does not have that many rare gold cards in it. So I would just be a little bit careful when you're spamming these SBCs and when you're opening a lot of these upgrade packs over the course of this promo, make sure that you're recycling, right? Like one of our rules of thumb is, let's say you open one of these league specific packs and you have like three or four duplicates, recycle that into another SBC, right? Put that back into another upgrade pack and don't just quick sell those cards. That can sometimes, I've packed a ton of team of the years on what we call recycle packs from turning in my duplicates into another upgrade SBC. You get a lot of extra packs doing that method um, and it can pack you team of the year. So that's all I'm saying is to be smart with those. And again, if you want to start buying up some rares, be my guest, because I think at some points right now, discard price, you don't get any cheaper than that. And rares after these SBCs come out are probably going to end up rising uh, a decent way over, I would say, a thousand coins. So if you can get them for less than 800 right now, I think that's a really great deal. A lot of people are excited for the league upgrade packs today on this game. Now, other content people are going to be very excited for today. It is rumored that we are getting another one of those 81 plus times 11 packs. Now, the 81 plus times 11 for the attackers, I believe, has expired. Yeah, that SBC expired. Um, but it is rumored and leaked that today we are going to get the 81 times 11 for the midfielders. So for these Jorginho, Conte, and KDB items, it's going to be another great pack that a lot of people are going to want to go out and do. Now, the first time it was released, I believe it required like an 84 squad. It was like 30,000 coins to do this SBC. I think if they price it around that point again, that's going to be a really, really good value SBC for a gamble, right? Yesterday, they released the hero player pick. That SBC was like 75,000 coins, but an 81 times 11 for midfielders is going to be another great SBC to go out and do. Now, SBC fodder at the moment will probably rise even more. At the moment, it's not super crazy, but one thing to keep in mind is that the attacker SBCs so far, like when we had the 85 plus attacker, 83 plus attacker, those were always a little bit more expensive than the midfielder and defender SBCs. So there is a slight outside chance that they might not require like an 84 rated squad. They might require an 83 squad or something. So if you wanna stock your club with a couple 83s or 84s, I know that this stuff is already up in terms of where it has been. You know, 84s just keep rising when we have these big SBCs every single day uh, that people want to go out and do. But um, I, I would really say to stock a couple, if you want to do that 81 times 11 midfielder, is it supposed to drop today? I would make sure to stock up on a few fodder cards because it will spike again when that SBC is released today. So just be careful about that. Another piece of Monday content that we might see is a Serginho Dest. And you might be very confused on why this card is getting an item, but it's kind of similar to the Lucas Paqueta. I actually don't think that it's gonna be a team of the year item. I think it's gonna be like this card design, the moments item um, from a specific goal that he scored against Costa Rica. That is the leak. Um, so I know that we were all wanting Danny Alves, but it looks like we might be getting this Serginho Dest instead. So just keep an eye out for a player SBC along the lines of a Dest. Uh, I don't know if that is today, but I mean, according to the timeline of the leaks, it should be pretty soon. And you've seen your um, links like Usman Dembele, right mid, or, or De Young special card. Some of your Barcelona links have risen up in price due to this leak. So I think that could be today. That's not confirmed. I just think it's probably going to be coming decently soon. So keep an eye out for that as well uh, on this market. That should be pretty much the full size of our Monday content, but it's going to be a big day, right? Everybody is going to be so excited for the upgrade packs. Now, again, as I mentioned, a lot of people are probably not going to open 
those pre these premium league upgrade packs that would be released on the game today, I'll be surprised if people were opening them up. I would not recommend opening because, of course, you only have three team of the year cards in your packs right now. What you would really want to do is save those for the when the full team is out, which is right now looking like either Thursday or Friday. So again, that's just going to be today. Basically, an SBC grind is going to open up a whole new level of SBC grind. A lot of you guys know this or you remember it from like even Black Friday, but specifically from team of the years past. This is just when people that love to open packs. This is when the game gets really, really fun. There's insane cards and in packs that are really hard to pack. And, you know, it's all about just trying to hit one of them. And you can craft a ton of SBCs along the way and open a bunch of packs. It's just an absolute blast of a time. Uh, on this game. So that's the biggest portion of the Monday content today for sure. Now, yesterday, right? Let's roll it back a little bit and talk about yesterday. We've got team of the year midfielders out, De Bruyne, Jorginho, and Conte. And very interestingly, uh, these cards are, they're really cheap, man. I bought a De Bruyne today to try to flip and I'm in the mud because he kept going lower and this card is starting to bounce back. He was at like 228 at his absolute lowest. But me, we, I mean, we even knew these cards were going to be cheaper than ever this year. But still, seeing some of these first day prices is crazy, right? Um, Conte was extinct at 4 million coins, which was honestly ridiculous. I know some of you guys, we were, we were looking at this on the stream yesterday. The fact that Conte was extinct at 4 mil, even though he is a very rare card, was just ridiculous, right? Especially when you had Kevin De Bruyne on the market at like 2.5 million coins and you had Conte extinct at 4 mil, that just does not make any sense for him to be that expensive. So just be careful with these cards. I feel like Jorginho is going to be the second or third cheapest team of the year. I think Cancelo might be a little bit cheaper than him once the defenders come out. But um, I got to give credit where credit is due as well. These midfielder cards that EA released, they absolutely juiced the heck out of them. I mean, this Jorginho card going from a 85 rated up to a 97. He got like, what was the, it was like plus 33 pace, plus 33 pace. He got a four-star skill, four-star weak foot upgrade. I mean, this card has gone from nobody would ever use it in FIFA to an elite midfielder, one of the best midfielders in this game. So I'm excited to, you know, maybe pack this card. A lot of people were packing him from the 85 plus times three midfielder pack that they had saved up. So I know it's medium, medium work rates, which some people do not like, but that's a really, really great card. I really don't have any complaints on these midfielders. I'll be completely honest. I don't have any complaints on the boosts that they gave these cards. This Kevin De Bruyne as well, they gave him like plus, uh, what was it, like plus 13 defense or plus 12 defense or something like that to get him to that magic number of 80 defense, which is very nice. He got a plus six pace boost as well. So I'm very happy with this KDB card. I know that it's not like, you know, 97 or 98 rated, but that was just too much to ask for and too much to expect. But the fact that this card does have Hullet Gang stats, of course, with many stats in the 90s, I love the KDB boost. And again, Conte is very rare and very expensive right now. I'm actually a little surprised, uh, but I think his price is going to continue dropping because he was people were investing in him at 4 million coins. And, uh, you know, now he's obviously not 4 million coins, which he never should have been in the first place. I mean, in, in my eyes, this Conte is like a 2.5 million coin card. So give that some time. I think that'll drop off a bit more. But for whatever reason right now, he is very, very rare. So just keep an eye out on that card at the moment. But I like what they did, right? The cards are all great. The stats are fantastic. I'm a big fan of that. Now, that was one piece of content yesterday that didn't really affect the market too much, right? You take a look at your... Mbappe team of the year, your Messi team of the year. These guys didn't really move. Mbappe is around the same price of like 7.9. Lewandowski has been around 1.7 to 1.8. Messi has been around 4.4 to 4.5. So they didn't really move too much yesterday with that content that was released. But what you did see was a lot of prices on the market. They did drop yesterday. A lot of prices on like meta cards kind of dropped yesterday because of this big SBC right here. It was the player pick for the foot hero, but it was non-repeatable. We were very surprised by this on stream when we looked at it yesterday because we were fully expecting this to be a repeatable player pick. Now, the upside of this SBC is that it's pretty cheap, right? 73,000 coins is a pretty cheap price for this SBC, but I think it would have impacted the market a lot more if it was repeatable. Uh, but the fact that it's 73K, again, is pretty cheap. You know, if you are not wanting to do this, but you're going to open packs during team of the year, 
my 100% recommendation to you would be craft packs during team of the year with your duplicate 83s and 84s, slap them into that SBC. Maybe you can snag yourself a Cordoba, Hiero, Di Natale, or a Betty Pele, or, or maybe Robbie Keane, if that's a hero that interests you. You know, there's a great opportunity there. So, I mean, it's a W SBC for the price. Um, I just, I'm a little confused on why it was not repeatable, but it is what it is. We have the Dog Leash SBC, which right now looks decent. 1.1 mil, 1.17. His card on the market's around 1.3, I believe, 1.38. So that SBC looks like better value than it did right away. I still think it's a little bit overpriced, not much, but Figo looks pretty good too. If you're if you wanted the Figo card in your club, you know, 620k, he was like 700k last week. Now with its SBC being less than 500,000 coins, EA is their pricing icon SBC is a lot better than they have in the past. Uh, so Dog Leash and Figo, I got no problems with them. Um, maybe a, a tad bit, you know, we'd like to see them a tad bit cheaper because still it seems like prime icons just continue to lose value on this market, on this game. Now, the other big W from yesterday was a 50K pack available from this uh, Daily Challenge 2 SBC. 5,000 coins you have to pay for an untradable 50K pack. That's a tremendous dub. Make sure you're getting this SBC done. 5,000 coins for a 50k pack. I mean, what else do I need to say? That's an incredible, incredible W. But that did drop the market a little bit in some places because everybody was going out and doing the Hero SBC. A couple cards that I saw go down in price. Some of your mid to low tiers. Take, out, take a look at this Morales card, right? 56k. His drop yesterday is pretty evident, right? 68,000 coins down to 56k. Another card uh, that went down a decent amount was the Collins center back item. Which um, the Winter Wild Cards, Namdi Collins, yeah, seventy-seven thousand coins. I'm pretty sure he dropped about ten k. And a lot of this stuff, since it was a Sunday, a lot of it hasn't rebounded that well. Um, you know, some cards went down and then rebounded back up a little bit. I bought some Rudiger, yeah, I bought some Rudigers in the two uh, seventy range, and he's back up to like two ninety-five. You know, I was hoping with the Jorginho and Conte links that you know there's not too many. Chelsea items that people would want to link to him. So he's up a little bit, um, which is nice. But, you know, a lot of stuff yesterday on the market dropped and then didn't rebound too much. Even the heroes, right? A lot of these heroes, since the player pick was non-repeatable, a lot of the heroes, they dropped before the SBC and then went back up afterwards. Cordoba went from 370 to 420 because the SBC was non-repeatable. And I think that there were so many people waiting for heroes to drop and when the SBC came out and it was non-repeatable and it was really cheap, you know, it, it didn't affect the market in the way that we thought it was going to. So that's why you saw Heroes rebound a bit on the market yesterday. One also interesting thing that I want to point out is one these Serie A heroes, Cordoba and Di Natale, whenever there's hero upgrade packs or something like this on this game, they impact the market big time. Serie A special cards exploded yesterday, which I really think was links to Cordoba. And Di Natale, take a look at Teo Hernandez. He was like 220K, 216, up to 255. He's 245 right now. Another good example is this Federico Chiesa. He went from 160K in the panic cell, low price of 160. He ballooned all the way back to 190 and is kind of now back down to 180. So like a bunch of these cards, Spinazzola Winter Wild Cards was 140,000 coins, I think. Yeah, he was like 100 and okay, 150, 160k. He spiked all the way to 200. This was solely because people were packing cards from that hero player pick, going out and trying them out and, and having to link them and buy a few cards to link them in their te in their teams. So that was kind of crazy to see on the market yesterday as well. So that's kind of what's going on in this game right now. We got to look in the future a little bit, all right? We got to look in the future a little bit because there is a big boy SBC that is coming. And I think this is the next big SBC on this game that is going to rock this game and honestly uh, rock the market as well. And it is this flashback Varan. Now, believe it or not, these are confirmed statistics for a flashback Varan SBC. Confirmed statistics. He's going to have 88 pace, 93 defense, 90 physical. That is is insane, right? That is an insane card with the French links, with the, the GGMU hype. This SBC is going to wreak havoc on this game later on in this week. I think it's going to be dropping on Thursday or Friday, so just keep an eye out for that. We'll probably talk again before that happens, but that's crazy. That is a crazy SBC that's going to be dropping. I honestly think that based off of some of the other expensive center backs that are in this game, 
I mean, you look at another Prem center back that has a lot of hype like Van Dyke does, uh, or sorry, Varane, I think that center back is Van Dyke, right? And Van Dyke's headliner's item is like 700 something thousand coins. Now he's up a little bit because he had some, he had a, a goal performance in a Liverpool match, uh, and this card is really rare. But if you look at this item and you look at the Varane card, I could really see that Varane SBC being anywhere between 800 and I'll say it, a million coins because they know, EA Sports knows that that Varane card has a ton of a ton of hype and people are going to be crafting that SBC and so many people are going to want to do that card because of just the links that it provides how OP and how insane he is going to be in game I mean so many people have used gold Varan and gold Varan is still very usable in this game right now but the fact that they're going to give this dude such an insane boost right 88 pace 93 defense 90 physical 76 dribble 72 passing with all the links that he gets, so many people that this you're gonna see so many Varan flashbacks in your weekend leagues upcoming. Everybody's gonna have it in their team. It's gonna be it's gonna be like another Fakir SBC or another type of uh, Benzema flashback type vibes. I'm not even kidding. So your French links are gonna be more OP than ever in the coming days. Center backs on this game are probably gonna drop um, because people are gonna go out and do Varan and put that card in their teams instead of using maybe some of the other cards that they might use in their team at the moment. So just be aware that that SBC is leaked to be coming and it's going to turn this game upside down. It really is. That's a huge SBC. So whenever that does drop, just be on the lookout. And, you know, I even have some still, I still have some Freds from once to watch Freds. I still have on my transfer list here that I got at like 230,000 coins. A lot of these links to the Varan SBC are very, very heavily invested in. Uh, so I would just be a little bit careful with these. I'm kind of watching this Fred, and if he rises back up, if he hits like 270, right now he's like 250, if he hits 270 before the Varan SBC comes out, I'll probably take the cash and sell um, because that would just be, you know, a little bit too high for me. But again, that Varan card, especially if EA puts that SBC out for like 10, 12 or more days so that it's very craftable with upgrade packs and over amount of time, the, the amount of completion you're going to see in that card is going to be nutty so just keep an eye out for that uh on this market i think later on this week so yeah boys today on monday is going to be an insane day you're going to have the upgrade packs the 81 times 11 and um you're probably going to have i think that the dest spc would be either today or tomorrow i could see it being tomorrow on tuesday because that's the drop of the defenders um now we did have the paqueta that was on saturday and it wasn't yesterday when they dropped the midfielders even though this is a midfield card so that's a bit interesting but Death should be very soon. Varan should be in the near future. And again, the hype is going to be with all the upgrade packs and that 81 times 11 today on this game. So it's going to be a hype week on FIFA. It really is. It's team of the year. And I'm bummed that I'm not going to be completely around for it. But I'll be following from afar. Make sure you get involved with the links that are down below. I'll be tweeting out a little bit on Twitter if you kind of want to follow along. Uh, with my journey over the next week or so and we'll still have a few uploads so make sure you get tuned in for those and always if you tweet it or if you pack a team of the year not tweet if you pack a team of the year tweet me that's what i'm trying to say if you pack a team of the year i want to see it right show me a screenshot of the team show me a screenshot of the pack i love that stuff right because right now we're just all trying to pack team of the years so this market is very healthy i will say as well a lot of coins great opportunities to trade and we're going to talk about with how to make some coins in this current market with all these new cards coming in and out there's going to be great opportunities to trade so a video like that's going to be coming on the channel very soon for you guys as well but if you enjoyed this video of course smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new i'll be seeing you guys soon it's been nate foot accountant i'll catch you guys later peace